Ask an advisor. I'm over age 72. How do I avoid the RMD tax bite? Smart asset. I'm over age 72. What can I do about avoiding the required minimum distribution? RMD. Tax bite? I have a steady stream of other income. Bernie tax deferred accounts, such as 401. K. S. and traditional individual retirement accounts. IRAs. Are potentially great. Continue reading right pointing arrow the post ask an advisor. I'm over age 72. How do I avoid the RMD tax bite? Appeared first on Smart Asset blog. Below are your comments. It amazes me that people whine about RMDs. They always knew that they were for tax-free growth until retirement, yet they want to continue with it being tax-free after retirement. It's like asking your mortgage company if you can pay only the principal without ever paying the int. Earst. Planning for the RMD years should be done before you hit RMD age. I retired at 62, almost 63. Since retirement, I have been performing Roth conversions on pre-tax accounts judiciously, small and no. GH not to end up in a high tax bracket. And, since 65, not to end up having to pay more for Medicare page. If you have so much saved that you're worried about RMDs, start withdrawals earlier to spread it out. More. You don't have to wait until age 72. And it's a call the retirement account for a reason. It's not supposed to be a vehicle to pass wealth. H to your heirs. There's no RMD tax bite. You deferred taxes until you got to retirement age. Now you're there. It's time to pay the piper. That was the deal. I give my annual RMD to my loving favorites, my kids and my dear former wife of 40 years. Yeah, you're right. There's no tax benefit, but no one is more worthy and deserving of it. Dot and somehow it makes paying. Gee the required tax okay. Next news. Why retirees are confused about Medicare. Smart asset. For the average American, healthcare in retirement will cost more than they have in their entire save. Ings account. And unfortunately, Medicare won't help. Healthcare, of course, is the single biggest line item that most retirees need to prepare for. Recently. Continue reading right pointing arrow the post healthcare will cost more than most retirees have. Here's why Medicare isn't the answer appeared first on Smart Asset blog. Below are your comments. Another article that is full of statements that are not totally true. As of this year, we have met our $226 Medicare B deductible. We pay $326 each for Medicare, GAP policy and a drug plan per month. Meds are not that much as well at this time. Wife had a procedure that the cost was $85,000. A complete distortion of the truth. I'm in Medicare and have managed the final years of my parents and in-laws. None of us are beyond middle class or poorer. 
Medicare with Medicare B and a drug plan carried all of them through their final years with no overall. Why high cost? Medicare Advantage plans can. This is all scare stuff. Yeah, if one has a catastrophic illness, Medicare alone may not cut it. But I pay zero dollars for my Advantage plan. My meds are all free except a brand name eye drop. My recent colonoscopy cost me $35 for the initial consult. I am paying the least I've ever paid in my life. Hmm. Before age 65 my high deductible Heath insurance, 10k deductible, cost $900 per month. Never reached the deductible point. Now, on a Medicare Advantage plan it's $0 per month and way better coverage with a much lower deduct. Eyeball. Spent less than $500 in 2022. Next news. China wealth manager Zhang Zi flags insolvency, $64 billion in liabilities. Reuters. Beijing. Reuters. China's Zhang Zi Enterprise Group, a leading wealth manager, told investors it is heavily insolvent. With up to $64 billion in liabilities, threatening to reignite concerns that the country's property debt crisis is spilling over into the broader financial sector. The firm, which has sizable exposure to China's real estate sector, apologized to its investors in a letter that said it had total liabilities of about 420 billion yuan, $58 billion to 460 billion yuan, $64 billion. The liabilities compared to Zhang Zi's estimated total assets of about 200 billion yuan, according T. O. The letter, which was issued on Wednesday and was seen by Reuters. Below are your comments. It's not the rate of return, it's the return. The higher the rate, the higher the risk. China is one of the United States' largest creditors, owning about $859.4 billion in U.S. One however, it does not own the most U.S. debt of any foreign country. Nations borrowing from each other may be as old as the concept of money. How exactly does a wealth manager go insolvent? Shouldn't it be called the wealth destroyer? Weird considering one cannot even fart in China without the CCP knowing about it. I do wonder just how much the orange trader failed tariffs propped up the Chinese monetary system o. Oh. and the backs of U.S. consumers? It appears that, at least to me, they transferred a great deal of funds, which is showing up now in the struggling China economy, that the transfer is. Next news. Retirees don't know their number one retirement risk. Smart asset. Retirees don't accurately understand their risks in retirement, according to a recent analysis from the Center for Retirement Research at Boston College. The brief, authored by Wenliang Hu, finds a disconnect between how retirees rank perceived risks and d their objective. Continue reading right pointing arrow the post retirees don't know their number. One retirement risk. Advisors can help appeared first on Smart Asset blog. Below are your comments.
The number one takeaway I get from these articles is to work for a government pension, if they still offer one. Guaranteed income for life with colas. Never worry about the stock market. Never worry about running out of money. Get a supplemental in a DDITION to Medicare and health risks are gone. A financial advisor might help, but is more likely to cost more than he's worth as you have uncomplicated finances. It's not easy to find a financial advisor who is really the expert you may need. He may be poor in math, majored in phys. In college, then took the series of low, 100 level course. Aren't these the same advisors that say retirees should have most of their financial assets in stock? S. How is that working, this year? By the way 2022 is the year the most Americans turn 65. Number one risk is an advisor taking a chunk of your money. Next news. Bank of America forecasts S&P 500 to reach record 5,000 in 2024. Yahoo Finance. With companies already positioned for a slowing economy, earnings will still grow in 2024 and He S&P 500 to a record high, according to the team at Bank of America. Below are your comments. That's not much of a prediction. Now 6,000 would be something. After 40 years of doing markets I learned one thing. Nobody ever is even remotely capable of predicting anything about markets. Not even a few days. Let alone 2024. You may seldom see a lucky guess but that's all it is. It could end at 5,000 after dropping to 3,500 in 2024 so how does the prediction guide what investor S should do? What a brave call. Such an outstanding specimen of humanity. Whatever BOA is paying them to sit behind a desk all day and come out with such a bold prediction on CE year, they are surely worth every penny. I don't get it. 5,000 in 2024 is 10% and people are acting like it is chump change. The chances that we are going back to a 2010 to 2019 Fed funds rate is about zero. I would take 7.5% and 1.75% in dividends in a heartbeat. Next news. Two of crypto's biggest names are felons. What it means for Coinbase. Barons.com Coinbase stands among the few credible crypto exchanges, even as it faces its own regulatory hurdles. Dot dot. Below are your comments. Still can't turn a profit and maybe never will. Been with Coinbase for three years now and have been spot on with accounting, way better than my reg. Alar Bank has done by far. Companies in the US that are regulated by the SEC are not having these problems. There are Coinbase, PayPal, Grayscale, and now numerous others are coming. Similar to SEC charged Coinbase, Kraken is charged by the SEC, but in my estimate will not be found guilty of wrongdoing. Kraken's own internal audit surfaced the account anomalies the SEC is charging Kraken with. It means that Coinbase looks better and better. Next news.
Warren Buffett celebrates Thanksgiving with a nearly $900 million gift, and details what will happy end to his fortune after his death. Business Insider Warren Buffett donated $866 million of Berkshire Hathaway stock to four of his family's foundations and provided an update on his estate planning. Below are your comments. Money and good health. He cannot take it with him. A billionaire worthy of respect, unlike so many of his peers. Who do the charities help? Those who can afford to apply for assistance. He has a lot more than that. $900 million is a piece of change for him. Why doesn't he donate most of his money now? Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.